Hello friends. Friends, today we will discuss the boundary conditions for electromagnetics. And today we will start with the first boundary condition for electromagnetics that is basically related with the electrostatic problems that is E tan 1 equals to E tan 2. Now Maxwell equations, Maxwell equations can be used to determine the conditions at the boundary surface between different media. Now these conditions, these conditions are very useful to solve the complicated electromagnetic problems. Now let us start with these boundary conditions on electric and magnetic fields at any surface of discontinuity. Okay, I will discuss in detail about all these things. The first boundary condition is, the first boundary condition is E tan 1, E tan 1 equals to E tan 2. Now what is the meaning of these tan 1, tan 2? Okay, now as I have mentioned this condition is related with the electric fields. The tangential component of electric field E, now this is tangential, tangential component of electric field E is continuous at the surface at the surface across any discontinuity that is it is the same just outside the surface and it, it is just inside the surface i will write down like this okay the tangential the tangential component okay the tangential component of electric field is continuous is continuous at the surface across any discontinuity discontinuity that is it is same just outside the surface as it is just inside the surface okay i will discuss i will discuss in detail and derive these boundary conditions okay the tangential component of which field electric field is continuous is continuous at the surface across any discontinuity like suppose this is the discontinuity surface okay this is a discontinuity surface the tangential component suppose here is e and suppose here is e tan 2 here it is e tan 1 here it is e tan 1 it is e tan 2 so if both these components are equal then that are known as continuous components continuous components Okay, at the surface of discontinuity, this is the surface of discontinuity. Okay, across these surface of discontinuity, if the components are equal, tangential components are equal, then those are then this condition is known as the first boundary conditions. Now, what is the meaning of what is the meaning of tangential component? Okay, tangent to a circle. What is tangent to a circle? that is cutting the outer point of a circle okay now tangential means the parallel components tangential means the parallel components okay here the tangent will be this here the tangent will be this here the tangent will be this okay for the circle okay otherwise the tangent means the parallel components okay so let us discuss in detail about the uh, first boundary condition now consider a very small rectangular loop, very small rectangular loop. If you will understand this diagram, then it will be very easy to derive this result using Maxwell equation. Okay, consider a small rectangular loop of width, suppose delta x and length, suppose delta y. The length is suppose Suppose this length from here to here 
it is suppose delta y okay on the boundary of medium 1 and medium 2 now suppose in this side it is medium 1 having characteristics epsilon 1 mu 1 sigma 1 here it is medium 2 having characteristics epsilon 2 mu 2 sigma 2 okay now this side is y axis okay and this is x equals to 0 okay this surface this line this whole line x equals to 0 okay it is the surface of discontinuity because this line is dividing this rectangular loop into two portions portion 1 and portion 2 okay portion 1 and portion 2 now here it is suppose a this is b this is c this is d e and f and what should be this one this one is delta x divided by 2 okay now suppose along this direction along this direction electric field is ey1 along this direction electric field is ey2 along this direction along x component ex1 ex2 electric field is along ex3 ex4 ex4 okay ex3 ex4 okay now just remember this diagram width delta x length delta y components along this direction ey1 ey2 along x direction ex1 ex2 ex3 ex4 okay just remember this okay now apply the now apply the integral form of maxwell's third equation remember the first boundary condition related to electric field will be derived with the help of maxwell's third equation integral form what was integral form e dot dl equals to minus curly by curly t b dot ds okay now for the rectangle for the rectangle that i have drawn now i will again draw it here i will again draw it here so here it is so here it is uh, a b so a b c d e f okay so along this direction along this direction it was e x 1 e x 2 e x 4 e x 3 e y 1 e y 2 okay now for the rectangle this the above equation this equation will become e x 1 integral a to b dl suppose a b is dl then the next component of electric field is e x 2 b to c dl plus e x 3 c to d dl plus e x 4 uh, sorry for from c to d it will be e y 2 it will be e y 2 for c to d it will be e y 2 e x 4 d to e e x 4 d to e okay so this will be d l plus e x 3 e x 3 e 2 f dl plus e y 1 plus e y 1 f to a 
dl equals to minus curly t integral of ds integral of ds okay what you have to do you, you just have to do a to b from this to this integral dl the next is integral dl the next is e by 2 c to d dl e x 4 dl e x 3 dl e y 1 dl okay now what is e x 1 dl this dl this is our delta x by 2 e x 1 a to b e x 1 a to b okay what was that delta x by 2 again from b to c e x 2 delta x by 2 okay now from c to d from c to d it will become minus of e y 2 minus of e y 2 delta y because this side is delta y now why this minus sign is here minus sign is here because if I am saying if I am saying the line element is going from this to this direction this direction is positive this direction will be negative if this direction from C to D is a negative then this direction from E Y 1 it will be opposite to this direction F A is opposite F A is opposite to C D so C D is a negative because it is a downward comparative to F A F A is up, upward okay that's why there is negative sign negative sign is due to the direction of the line path that we are covering from a to again a okay a b c d e f a okay then there will be then there will be again due to this logic minus e x 4 minus e x 4 delta x by 2 minus e x 4 delta x by 2 okay because de de is in opposite direction to the bc if bc is positive then de will be negative similarly minus ex3 delta x by 2 because ef is opposite to the ab ef is opposite to the ab if we are considering ab as positive direction then ef will be negative direction okay and last will be plus e y 1 delta y because we are considering f a as f a as positive comparative to the c d so this equals to minus d curly b by curly t delta x delta y delta x delta y because area area of this rectangle will be this side multiply by the this this side delta x delta y now as the width we are assuming the width is very very small delta x tends to 0 delta x tends to 0 now if delta x tends to 0 all the terms involving delta x will become 0 this will become 0 this will become 0 okay this side will become 0 this will become 0 and this will become 0 you will left with this term and and this term okay so we will get only e y 1 delta y minus e y 2 delta y equals 0 or e y 1 minus e y 2 delta y equals 0 as delta y cannot be 0 because if a b is equal to 0 either a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0 okay now delta y cannot be 0 it means ke e y 1 minus e y 2 equals to 0 or e y 1 equals to e y 2 
Now, what is E Y one? What is E Y one? This was our E Y one. This was our E Y two. Across this surface of discontinuity, on these both components are the parallel components. So E Y one is the tangential component along medium one. E Y two is the tangential component along medium two. Okay. So this proves the first boundary condition that the tangential component of E is continuous at the surface across any discontinuity across any discontinuity, and these boundary conditions, these boundary conditions because these conditions are applying applied on the boundary are useful for the many electromagnetic problems. Okay, my dear friends, if you have any doubt, so please share in the comment section. remember to learn the diagram understand the diagram and try to drive accordingly it's very easy it's very easy okay so thank you thanks a lot